So thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So here I'm standing now with my new hydraulic forging press. Uh, earlier this year I was actually in contact with a Danish person who builds uh, presses and he builds a really small compact and really nice looking 20 ton press and I was so interested in getting one so I actually ordered one but then Corona happened so the borders were closed I couldn't go to Denmark and get it so we postponed it and being the kind of person I am I don't like waiting for stuff so I started looking into how to build my own press now uh, one of the easiest way you could do this is to get a, a log splitter and convert that into uh, a hydraulic press however uh, around here it's kind of hard finding a log splitter that's uh, that has a, has a force of uh, 20 tons so uh, but I found one uh, online and that had a gas motor but I so I was thinking maybe I can buy an electric motor but I decided not to do it and then by all, all of a sudden I saw on the same site something called a wood cutter not uh, a log cutter not a log splitter so what is the difference well the log cutter you put in a big log and it cuts the whole log and splits it at the same time so it uh, you can take a whole tree and put it in there and it cuts it and that machine has a tonnage of 20 tons usually because it, there's a lot of force needed when cutting a whole tree so I started looking into those and I found that, wow, they're not really that expensive and not that much work is needed to be done to, to transform it into a hydraulic press. So that's what I did. I took a shot. I contacted a guy south of Sweden. I traveled down there and the thing that I was worried about was the travel speed of the hydraulic system. In a hydraulic press, from what I've heard, is that you want, uh, want there to be uh, some speed in the up and down thing basically and if you don't have that the 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 steel will cool down too quickly so you want something that's re uh, that's fairly quick but also has a lot of force so i found this um, and uh, i tried it at his place just to cut uh, a piece of log and it ate through that like nothing and i thought this is going to be strong enough uh, so I brought it home and I started thinking about how to make it into a hydraulic press. So I wanted to, to make, it a bit, make it a bit smaller because with the table for the log, yeah, it's way too big. Uh, so uh, this is basically what I came up with and I made this little die, die holder um, so I can change dies. I need to make some more dies, I need to make some round dies, some uh, punching dice, to punch the eye of the axe and stuff like that. So I'm really, really uh, excited to get to learn this machine now. Um, and I gotta say, it was a really, really easy thing to convert this into a hydraulic press. The only thing is that it weighs a lot. So if you don't, uh, I, I think you saw that me and my brother and my father tried lifting it. I mean, we could lift it, but the balance, since it's so high, was very hard to lift and very scary to lift. So we decided to take it with a tractor instead, uh, much safer. So if you don't have a lift or something in your workshop, be careful, because if it falls on you, uh, it won't be a very good time. Now, I know this is a home, home build uh, thing. Uh, I'm not... Uh, uh, I know that other people have homemade presses and they seem to work fine. My homemade tire uh, hammer works fine. Uh, I have no idea how long this will last, but it works. And that's the only thing that I wanted. It works and for the foreseeable future here, I will try to figure out how to forge with this thing and see if I can forge some heavy stuff like uh, C45 rounds into axes and stuff like that. So that's going to, going to be very interesting and also punching and drifting the eyes of the axe and stuff like that and see if I can in this way get a bigger and faster production in my work. And I'm really really excited to, excited to learn more about this machine and work with it in the future. So thank you so much for watching uh, once again. Uh, if you like the video, please like the video. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Axe videos. 
build like, builds like these and just blacksmithing in general. Um, if you like to, you can support me on Patreon. It's not necessary, if you, it's only if you really, really want to. And have a great day. See you in the next video. Goodbye.